Kilimanjaro to coast time guys and we just arrived at Mkumazi National Park. We are super excited to be here. This is what it's all about, creating value for this national park and getting guys from Kilimanjaro one hour's drive right here to Mkumazi. We're really excited to come and see the black rhino, African wild dog, loads of elephant with red soil on it, so lots of contrast, and then all the migratory birds that come through, especially the northern carmine bee eater. So stay tuned guys, have a look, and uh, please if you can, come visit this park, you really make a difference in uh, such a wonderful place. Okay guys, shore safaris birding segment time and uh, one, of the, one of the must see birds in Umkumazi during the migratory time, what is that, October to March or so? Yeah. Uh, the intra-Africa migrants come through here and one of them is the northern carmine bee eater. To me, a lot prettier than southern. Yeah. And Paul, people drive a long way to come see this bird Absolutely, and yeah. uh, out here you see them lots of them yeah but yeah, they, yeah. this really is a special uh, for for me all of the bee eaters um are my favorites but this guy just is the top of the charts look at that yeah and when you drive you know as your vehicle kicks up some insects they come yeah. flying right next to your vehicle and, and then the they... way they fly and display the colors just incredible super super fast birds yeah. and um obviously some of the other beaches go all the way to Europe and back. Yeah. So they're heading on their way, heading north uh, for the European summer. And it's basically following insects wherever they go. Ah, yeah. look at that. Uh, absolutely stunning. Bee eater heaven. Bee eater with bee. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. If you do want to film them, they sometimes come back to the same branch. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, one of their habits, which is super cool so if you spot one and just sit and wait sometimes they'll fly off they'll do a big loop they catch an insect but they generally return to their favorite perch so keep the focus on that little stick and then you get a magic shot all right guys northern carmine bee eaters out here in kumazi uh, an hour's drive from kilimanjaro so come do birding man
welcome back to Kids Corner guys. So today you must be wondering what to do in camp when your mom and dad are sleeping. You know, older people get tired and then they sleep and then kids have nothing to do. But today we're going to show you what to do when something like that happens. First of all, never walk anywhere alone too far. So you know out of camp you just wait wherever you can still see the adults. But there's so much fun to do. First of all, you listen. What can you hear around camp? You will hear the birds, you will hear this and that. And we know already we have a leopard here because we heard the leopard last night. So I'm going to show you guys what a leopard sounds like. So whenever you hear a leopard sound, then you have to really go to the mess tent or back to your mom and dad. But this is what a leopard sounds like. a leopard right there. It's been here for a few days and then we decided to let's have a look around camp to see if it's really a leopard. Let's go have a look. It's really important when you have leopard in camp not to walk around at night, especially no running. Because if you run, the leopard sees something it can eat. And then it sparks that instinct and will grab you. So you always walk slowly. Sometimes you even walk different times of the day. Because they like to watch you first. Leopards are very dangerous, so it's really good to be careful of them. So then, tell me what do you see if you look at this tree closely. I see some marks on it. What do you think made these marks? If you can imagine, when a leopard wants to get up this tree, it takes its front claws and that holds. And then with its back legs, it does the climbing. That's why leopard has really strong back legs. So here we have our leopard home. It's a beautiful tree and if I was a leopard, I would also live here. Look at all those claw marks. And then if you come around this corner, guys, what do you see here? All of a sudden, this is a lot darker. And it's muddy. So this tree is also a scratching pole for elephant. So here you can go and scratch if you have an itch. Okay guys, that's Kids Corner for you today. Things to do in and around camp when your mom and dad sleeping. Cheers. Welcome to Superdoll Safety Segment here at Kiritu Coast and uh, as per usual we have Paul Sweet with us. Paul, how are you doing Hi, Carol. today? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent, excellent. One of the most daunting uh, things on safari is where do I stay? Will I be safe, first of all, if you bring your loved ones? And then second of all, how long does it take me to build this uh, shelter or tent? Mm. Um, and Paul, you've got all the answers. First of all, lovely that these tents are on the roof of the land. It buys you a little bit of safety here. Yeah? yeah, lots of people feel a little bit more comfortable being up off the ground. Um, plus it gives you a nice view and also a nice little bit of breeze yeah. blowing through. Yeah, and uh, then uh, second of all, it doesn't take you hours or so. You don't no, have no. to start three in the afternoon no. and miss your afternoon game no. drive. You're going to see just how quickly and effectively that we can uh, set up the camp. Um, there's a few things to consider, you know, where are you going to park the car, make sure it's level and things like that. But once you've done that, yeah. um, check around first to make sure that you don't have any company in camp with you, as we mentioned yesterday, the leopards. Mm. Um, but apart from that, you're ready to go. Don't camp in a hippo path. Don't, don't camp on a hippo path. <laughs> All right, Paul, 
Um, Shall I start? Yeah, let's give it a go. We're going to time you and see how long this takes and um, go for it. Alrighty. Okay, so Carol very kindly helped me lower the ladder down. I'm just quickly putting in this frame which helps hold the tent into shape. Uh, we come back down again and we pull it all nice and tight. Oh, wow. We have a tent peg here and then we're good. Whoops. There we are. Nice. So, tent is up. All right, Paul, so one issue here. Um, anyone that comes on safari late afternoon need a beverage in the shade. Uh -huh. uh, any? I can help you with that, oh, my you friend. Can. You can. I can help you with that. Excellent. Just a few seconds more. We quickly do this. We unzip along here and we take these guys out. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Then we have that one. You're gonna love this, Carol. Makes the perfect bar. Yeah, it gets hot during the day and everyone sure. needs a break. So drink this. Or a lunch or something. All the way around. Oh wow. All the way around. Okay. How much shade do you like? No, that's that's crazy, man. So we put a little strap on here first. That's ridiculous. Put that one round here. And then we're done. Thanks, Carl. These adjustable poles. Yep. They're quite funky. They are very funky and very super quick. So you can actually adjust this yeah. to whatever height you want. If you want to, you can actually catch rainwater off of this. So should you be in a campsite where you need more water, there's a few ropes put on to yeah. super secure. Yeah. But this is not a bad start for lunch, eh? How is that? Put some seats out. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Hey, mm. my, my assistant. It's hard work, huh? Uh, my assistant kindly gave What were you asking for? Oh, cheers. Cheers, buddy. How's that? Didn't take long, did it? No, absolutely not. Mm. Thirsty a, work, really. What a perfect spot. Yeah, wow. Life doesn't get better, does it? Awesome, Paul. Nice to know that this is kind of actually a lot easier than it always seems. And um, your vehicles can go anywhere. you free from lodges and camps yeah. and things like that. So. I mean, look at this. We've just got the wilderness to ourselves. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Well, may the journey continue. Kili to coast. Kili to coast. Cheers. Good health. <laughs>